Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Series 1 Day 2024 Series 1. How we doing? I love to see everybody here so early, ready to roll. I'm going to open up a little personal package before we get started here in two minutes. I don't know what's inside of here, but I'd like to find out. It's from our, our boys at, at Tops, hooking it up. Let's get rolling real early with some likes. How we doing? Oh, it must be something special. It's an envelope within an envelope. It must be really special. Oh, I mean, I, some kind of a one of one autograph of a superstar. They rushed it. Thanks for rushing it. It's Elliot Ramos. I've never gotten a redemption quicker in all my life. Number to 199. It was a little underwhelming. <laughs> Killed two minutes, though. And we are ready, just like that, to get into break number one, which is a hobby case of the new new. We're doing a hobby case, then a jumbo case, then half jumbo, half hobby. Let's roll.
Yeah, that's what they rushed. They thought it important that I get my Ramos auto. Waited like six months for my Bobby auto. But that one, they're on top of it. This is gonna, it's gonna be some ripping. The first box we're gonna open regular and then we'll do some speed ripping. Thank you. 50K we got there finally. Oh, what a trek that was. 50,000. But then, of course, 50,000 just like already like 200 in, in two days. Yep. And 10 million views just hit 10 million views. So that's cool. Yeah. How about that silver pack ordeal? Some people got their tinfoil hats on. And they're like, that must be a promo box. That's not a thing, but nice try. Not a promo box. Straight out of a case I paid for. Didn't even realize there was no silver pack in there. I was just too excited to open a jumbo box, I guess. I just didn't even realize. I'm like, hey, cards. Ronald Acuna Jr. Insert number one. We're already getting dirty with a case. All righty. Welcome. JR loves the look of the base cards. <laughs> You're surprised they did ship that Ramos in a Brinks truck. No joke. There's Ellie. Yeah, I know, Steve. I'm going to I'm going to get a hold of them. I wanted to wait and see what happened here and make sure we get all this before I put in some kind of claim or whatever because I, I don't want to have to make multiple situations out of it, you know. So I'll take care of it. First parallel is Emmanuel Class A and it's a rainbow foil. 12 whole hobby boxes. We're bound to get something crazy, right? Contract with the Lint Roller Company? No, but I'm open to negotiation. Scott's. I think it's Scott's. You call me. It's a company I can get behind. Okay, we got two cool. We got multiple cool things in this pack. Julio, I think that's a blue. Is that a blue parallel or what? It was flipped around, so I'm going to go ahead and just sleeve that up real quick, just in case. Story Ruiz, is that anything special? I don't see anything special going on there, but Jake Rogers Gold, that is special. Devil's Hockey predicts 10 relics and two autos. It's typically like a four to one thing. Yeah, that would be five, five to one, but. I mean, that's about right. Some, something like that. I mean, maybe who knows? Haven't, I haven't opened enough of this yet to really know. Okay. Yeah. That was a blue parallel because this blueprint is not all blue. That's a regular Bobby. You got an HFA Ellie. Awesome, Haley. Congratulations. Another rainbow foil, David Bednar. I haven't, I haven't watched any other openings of this, so. Just kind of playing it by ear, but I will address some comment. There's tons and tons of comments 99.5 percent of them 
very positive. Some people, no matter what, gonna hate. Haters gonna hate, 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 hate all day, no matter what. But one of the comments I got was like, it looks like there's like chipping. It's just the, the lighting. There's, see how you can, it kind of looks like there might be chipping under the right lighting. There's not. Relic number one, Jeremy Pena. I got a little bit of room on the stage. But we're not gonna get we're not gonna get too crazy with stand worthy cards because I just don't I just don't have the space. Anytime I do case breaks like this, I, I like to keep everything on the all the boxes on the stage. Just for peace of mind. Nando blueprints. We're getting lots of blueprints. That's the third blueprint card, although one was the blue parallel. Oh, yeah. You know what else? My retail showed up today. I pre-ordered, like, all the different kinds of retail that I wanted to open. And it was... On all the different websites, it said that it was like two weeks until the retail stuff came out. It arrived today. I got my shipping notification. I just ordered it from Dave and Adams. Um, Dave and Adams, I may have ordered some from Steel City too, you know, just the, the regulars. But I was surprised. Anybody else pre-order any retail? Home Run Derby. Jazz. One out of 1,540 packs for the blue blueprint, says Stan. Gnarly. Oh, I love how they're all faced the same direction. Like, tops. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. They had megas on the Tops website. Oh, see, I didn't even go to the Tops website. I pre-ordered everything I need. Stars of MLBs in retail, brother. It's it's amazing and hilarious how many people have asked about Stars of MLB. I don't understand it, but apparently, I, I don't know if it's people that like it or People that are just like trolling or I, I don't know. Maybe you can help me out with that. Who just asked that? Brian. Legit question. Do you like those inserts or do you, were you just wondering like, are we stuck with those again? Or just kind of curious. Silver pack. They look horrible this year. I haven't seen them. Any thickies in our silver pack? These cards are super. No. How about an auto? <laughs> silver pack number one, we get an auto. Get out of here. Everson Pereira. And that's a Yankees rookie, too. Number to 199. Let's go. We're doing well. Honestly, I've opened up enough cases of flagship. To know how hard it is to pull that out. I didn't even expect that we'd get one all day. And there we are, one for one. Hobby box number two. Now we're going to start to speed rip. I can check out the chat while I'm speed ripping. Just an FYI. You guys have anything you want to say? I can at least glance up more often when I'm just ripping packs. Read a little bit. Your Walmart has hangers, fat packs, and blasters, says Dean. Already available, eh? Well, I'm gonna do a case of blasters. I got I got my blasters and hanger, pa hanger boxes. So let's get a little bit of interaction in the chat. What do you guys wanna see me rip? And I don't know, maybe, I don't know if I want to do a live stream or or a video. 
So put it in the chat. Live stream or video and hanger or blaster. Case first. What would you like to see first? I, I think I know the answer. I'm not going to poison the well with my input, though. Buffet line, thank you. 50K. Set a goal, achieve a goal. Set the next goal. Next goal. Play button. 100K. It'll happen. It's going to take a long time, though, I think. I don't know. Unless some viral videos come out. Which I might be in... I might be working on it. I've already had multiple more requests for scratch offs versus. I might do a scratch off versus series one video. Here we go. Get them. Get them in. Case of live stream. Okay, Stan. Case of live stream. It is. Oh, fanatics boxes. I don't have those yet. There's our hit. Suzuki, and it's a game used bat relic. Oh, yeah, this is way easier to go through like this. Hallelujah. God, if I had to flip these all around, I would lose my mind, which might be entertaining to watch. JP Crawford Gold. And everything, all the hits are flipped around too, like the legit ones usually. So, I mean, we'll see. But to this point, the hits are flipped around. I don't really consider an insert a hit. But that's cool. Outfield. Why is it cut off though? Does anybody have a problem with that? I noticed that afterwards. And I kind of have a problem with it. Outfield, outfield, outfield low, outfield the, like that's, that's just a, that's an art department boo-boo right there. It's not that big of a deal. It's just, it's just an insert, but it is something of note. See what I mean? Now that would be more of a hit, a parallel. Flipperoo, Correa in the shower. Inappropriate, maybe. Cal Ripken Jr. Mini stack number two. I gave us an hour to get through this. I imagine it'll take a little bit longer, but we'll find out, won't we? Home run challenge, Ozzy Albies. I'd like to see a golden mirror. Haven't seen one of those yet. There's a lot I'd like to see. Story Ruiz, Rainbow. Celebration of the kid. There's Bryce. Christopher Morrell. And this is a blue parallel. O'Neill Cruz. Golden mirrors can be tough to spot. Are they not flipped around? Chipper, Bagwell, Soderstrom, rookie, and a blue. Wow, we're like two for two with special things out of our silver pack. This one's Bryce. Blue Bryce. That one's number to 150. Up there. 
Suzuki, you are refracting. On to the next box. They are flipped. Okay, thought so. Rip two jumbos, says Thomas. Two major league materials, mounting. Autos, strawberry, Olsen. What's up, Bob? Done with the deer skin and knife? Nope. Can't overdo anything. Everything in moderation, my friend. I got Billy the Bill Hook here waiting for an opportunity as well. A lot of, a lot of inanimate objects looking for opportunities here at Striker Breaks. But everyone must wait their turn. Yeah, I think the Fanatics Blasters are going to be the ones that arrive last. I saw a little video on Twitter today of Jackson Job throwing some nastiness. Casey Mize healthy again this year. I'm starting to get a little excited for the Tigers. Just a little. But, like, very excited for baseball in general. And a little excited. Like, a little... I'd be more excited about just the Tigers. Yeah, just like a little like a little bit more excited. Not yet, Uncle Nunny. I'm waiting until this break is over so I can compile a list of issues if need be. Because I didn't want to go through the process and then have to go through it again if there was problems with everything else. I'm going to kill all the birds at once. Hopefully there's none though, and I only have to kill one bird. Yoshida. We got another blue blueprint. That one's Jeter. Grand Gamers. Back-to-back -back Jeters. Also, home run challenge, Byron Buxton. Sal Freelick. This is our first rookie parallel. Very good. Just going to kind of be double stacking off to the side. Nothing formal with the stage today. Mookie, 2023 greatest hits. Boy, sort of an Ellie. And our gold is Logan Webb. Arias for the Marlins. Backwards card. Rainbow foil. Michael Waka. Blueprint Ken Griffey Jr. Relic. Chris Bryant, game used for the Rockies. Kyle, congratulations. No one told you to stop playing. Oh, there's an error. That's what... Okay, we'll try a different kind of music. A little more chill, I suppose. 3-0 relics so far, indeed. 3-0 relics, but a bonus autograph. Tony Gwynn. Chip. 
adjustments. Rizzo. Where's everything else? Here's Olsen sitting on top with an 89. Dominguez. In the books. And the silver pack. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Dave Durango in the house? Where's Dave? Are you lurking, Dave? Pete Crow, Nolan Ryan, Clayton, and Mauricio. Some rookies coming out of the silvers. Oops. What is, what is that all about? I think Dave's an undercover security guard in the striker chat. Dave's flying, flying under the radar. He's a plain clothes wearing security guard at Meyer. I like him too, Steven. Michael says, love the new design. Uh, is it? Is it? How much? I mean, I saw reports that it's actually a shorter print run than last year, Series 1. But I didn't do the numbers myself. So I would just have to go, based on others' information, there he is. The, the man, the myth, the legend, Dave Durango. Good to see you in here, my friend. The blueprint insert as an auto is sick. I'll bet. Yeah, Chrome is going to look sick, Nelly. It's going to be really cool. Next, The next release is already almost here. It's five star, 2023 five star. That'll be here next week, too. So I'm going to be getting some mixers in five star. I'm going to do a little high low because this is great. Like series one is great to add a, a nice foundation of a break for a, a very affordable foundation for like a not even a high roller, just a foundation for any break. Because some of those high end breaks get really costly. And there's just just hits a lot of times. So if I can sprinkle a little five star in, maybe a box of luminaries, a couple of different kinds of boxes, a series one, get a little chrome going. Let's see what's in the silver pack first. Change things up a bit. Maggie's in here. Rafaela. Morel. There's Adley. It's so weird seeing these guys who we've just spent half a year or whatever, or a whole year of their rookie cards, and now to see them with a second year, it's just, it takes a minute to adjust. But Rizzo, I think Rizzo might be a sneaky fantasy pick this year. Because when he's healthy in that ballpark with that team around him, lefty, he's never been a home run king, but in that ballpark, shit. 
he could he could get i could see him getting 35 40 if he's like really healthy nando home run challenge rainbow foil a bunch of pitchers judge you guys will have to forgive me i can only glance up at the chat every once in a while if i miss your chat nothing against you just can't catch them all what do we have here 15 of 25 relic coming out oh it's a thicky too jose abreu 2023 postseason That's right on there. Item is not from the 2023 postseason. <laughs> okay. But it is a Jose Abreu. Auto with his number. And it is game used. From what game, though? Usually we don't know, but we do know it's not from the postseason. Can you see that? But that's sweet, man. Number to 25. I like it. Going on the stage for sure. That is a Houston Abreu for Mr. Arno. Nice hit, Scott. Hot B so far? Hot B so far? Look at this. Cole Reagans with the team border. What do we get? One of those per case? That looks really good with the gold and the neon. Oh, man. People were predicting that these cards were going to be super collectible, and I agree. Jackie. He sat on the bench that game. Hmm. Gold Diaz. If you guys are interested, I'm sure a lot of you have already watched it, but I made a breakdown video of the best formats for this release, depending on what you're looking to pull. Check that out a couple videos ago. Thanks, Riker. Opened a hobby box from a local dealer and a blaster. I've had the better hits in the blaster. Well, Slade Kid, there are guaranteed holiday hits that you can get out of the blaster boxes that you can only get out of a blaster. So I feel like the blasters are going to, like the experience of opening a blaster is gonna be better in general than opening retail per pack on a per pack basis. Now, you might not get a hit as far as like an auto or a relic out of that retail stuff. Blaster, you know, the odds aren't great to get a hit out of there. They're not good. But what are you really looking for? I like to chase the parallels. And the best bang for your buck is going to be out of retail. Dollar per card. Dollar per parallel. And even dollar per HFA is going to be best out of retail. Because the pa the pack odds on HFAs are all identical. So whatever format you're paying the least for, dollar per pack is going to be the best way to go for an HFA. So you might, it might be pretty loaded in that format. I mean, we'll find out. What did you guys end up going with? I think I kind of missed. And now I scroll back. I can't scroll back far enough to see what format you guys wanted. Hello, Julie. Happy Series 1 day. Cardman John says the blacks are not flipped. It's going to be hard to spot a black, eh? Why wouldn't the blacks be flipped? Are they trying to trick us? 
I guess I'll have to eyeball down down low, but then if you eyeball down low, you're gonna look at the horizontals. You guys are really good at catching anything I miss anyway, so. We got an autograph, and surprise, surprise, it's Jordan Wicks. Same auto I got, loaded with Wicks. There's always, there's always a certain pitcher or two that flood the release. We got a freeze. Let it catch up for a second before I do anything. It's like one of these per per stream. What do we have here? Oh, 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 Johnny. How about an LEHFA? Hot B. We got the new Hot B. Man, that looks clean. Dude, the home field advantage cards look awesome this year. Look how clean that looks. Wow. Scott? crushing wow let's keep it going another gold waka get out of here Snell. Rainbow Foil Suzuki. It's almost like they went from 330 to 350 just to give us more horizontals. Oh, shoot. I've been on the wrong thing this whole time. My bad. I said all the wrong names. Forgiveness. Scoot, Stu, you got the Reds. You guys know what teams you have. Just ignore all of the names that I've called up until this point. It was all a giant psych. But now I'm on the right spreadsheet. So now from here on out, all the names will be correct. Well, at least for this break. Until I forget to change it on the next break, and then someone reminds me. I'm a professional. Trey Turner. Chaz McCormick did have a good 2023. I think people are going to sleep on Chaz just a little bit. Home run challenge, Devers. Coming into this upcoming season. Sandberg. Gavin Williams, rookie. Freddie Freeman. Big meat, Pete. Yo, Arthur, what up? Is that is that King Arthur? Is that the king? I'm like, I don't remember giving a mod. Unless it's the king. Cheap, Barry. Real cheap. 
just under 10,000 HFA total or per player. Must be total, right? So then you gotta divide that between the checklist. But here's the thing is nobody is gonna know how to figure out the retail numbers unless there's an exclusive. If there's no exclusive, then you, it's just an estimate. People are just gonna have like basic estimates. HFA means home field advantage. It's this right here. Gotcha, King. You changed your name on me. Sorry, I, I'll catch up. You got a hobby on the way? Hype to be ripping again? Good luck. Walmart has an overflow of hangers and value packs of this. I might head to Walmart. I don't. I doubt they have it in my area. I think they stock on Saturdays in my area. At least they used to. There was a extended period of time where they didn't have any retail, and nobody knew anything. Like the, as far as I knew, they just weren't going to have cards anymore. No cards. Period. No baseball, basketball, football, hockey, Pokemon, nothing. But then now they're back. And Muck City sent me a picture of a giant like dispensing machine of cards in the mall that he saw. Has all different kinds of cards. Bending machine for cards. But there was only three boxes of baseball cards. There's probably six rows of like tons of different stuff in there. Only three different little boxes of baseball cards. Everything else, there's tons of Pokemon stuff in there. There's a black. Black Cutched 299 and Pete Major League Material. That's number to 199. Another black. Game used. It's going to be one of those kind of boxes where we get multiple numbered cards. We got more room. We can we can add a little bit. Wait a minute. That's way too big. Cardshells.com. If anybody needs supplies, use code STRIKEFORCE. S-T-R-Y-K-E-F-O-R-C-E. Get 10% off. Collecting cardboard with a $5 super chat. What up, Striker and fam? Happy Series 1 day. Hit a Uno de Uno. Elias Diaz. Oh, 101. <laughs> All Star Game Event Warden. Z nameplate patch out of my jumbo case. Congratulations. I'm pretty good at Spanish. <laughs> I was actually going to start the show with some Spanish. I, I thought about it. I'm not even kidding. And I'm like, man, I, ha I have all of one year of high school Spanish in 10th grade. I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> but maybe next time. You may or may not know that Striker Breaks has a large Spanish-speaking audience. They like me for who I am. Not for my inability to speak the language. Glaber Torres. Actually, it's it's not as bad. I was practicing in the shower. <laughs> I really was. My wife was probably like, what is, what? Como esta? Like really loud and didn't, it didn't work. Patrick Wisdom, Rainbow Foil, another blueprint. 
Greenskeeper in the house with a 499. What's cooking good looking? My pal Kevin should be sending you a package soon. You'll love it. Everyone hit that like as if it owes you $3,000. I got a package here. I got it, Greenskeeper. It's right behind me. Should I open it? In between breaks, maybe? I'll probably forget in between breaks. But we can put it in the plan to rip pile. Or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Like I'm gonna do a PC, I'm gonna do PC stuff tomorrow. So I'll, I got a couple of packages. I've got I've got three packages to rip. If we can get to a thousand concurrent, which is not far away, we got four seven forty seven in the house. If we can get to a thousand concurrent, after this, I have one special package to open, and then I'll open the rest of them tomorrow during a stream. We're planning it all out live. Is it gonna happen the way we're planning it? I don't know. Celebration of the kid. We'll try though. Thanks for the dono greenskeeper. Julie with a 14 month membership. Hey, please give me a heads up on next break. I'm in. Just shoot me a email, Julie. Uh, otherwise, there's no way I'll remember. This old noggin is mushy and full of chemicals. Kutchen, Matos, Goldschmidt, and Garcia. My to-do list is 17 pages deep, so I need it in writing. Babel sponsorship inbound? Maybe. Maybe they help me learn the language, and I become fluent. I like it. Babel? Second sponsorship deal of the break. Get a hold of me. They have plenty of money. I hear those commercials all that all day on the radio. RM says jumbo or hobby. Why? You must have not watched my video, RM. Because I broke it all down, baby. It's all there for you. Couple videos back. I don't remember what I called it. Let me let me drop a. It might be a good time for a link. A link or two. I got them all right here. Pulled it all the way up. So right here is the key. If you want to get in on a break, you got to join the Patreon group. Benighted Slammer. If you become a slammer, you'll get notified when I post a break and you can buy in if you want. However, they do sell out quick. So if you don't get in, you can send me an email or uh, just a message. DM me. Private message me on Patreon, asking for a early notification for the next break. And then I'll just pull up that last video because I know there's going to be a lot of people wondering about all the formats and I already broke it down. Here it is. Save you some time. You haven't got to search this video right here that I'm dropping in the chat right now breaks down all the formats. Best bang for your buck. When did you, Julie asks, when did you realize you didn't get silver packs in yesterday's video? Uh, when KC was like, where's the silver packs? And I go, this is after I published it, after I edited it, published it, made the thumbnail and everything. And I'm like, ah, done and done. And then immediately the first thing people are just like, where's the silver pack? I didn't even realize it. That's how bad it was. I just, just so stoked to open a jumbo. There's all there's always like a lot of stuff running through my head that I'm trying to tell people or things that I want to talk about during the rip and things that I'm noticing with the cards, looking for the relics and the autos and all that kind of stuff. Breaking down the format mentally so I know what's going on. I think that's why I missed. I missed it. But yeah, I got to get a hold of some people about that. See, I'd be furious if it was during a break, like for you guys. But since it was just for me, I care. I definitely care. And I'm going to get it. I'm going to get, I'm going to get my silver packs. 
but it might, I, it's not the top of my priority list. Got your oil changed at Walmart? They had Jiffy Lube exclusive Mega Monster Ultra Premium Super Duper boxes. Yeah, those ones are good. You might want to pick one of those up, Green Greenskeeper. Another auto. For me. We're getting the autos. Don't worry. We already, we already beat the odds. RPA, couple of autos. Looking good. Tom Seaver, Grand Gamers. Starting to flow a little bit quicker now. Getting the gist of what's going on here. As it takes a couple boxes. Matt Olson. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? Today is like Christmas for hobby nerds. It is. It's one of the... 12 greatest days of the of the year to go along with series two day tops chrome day bowman day bowman draft day bowman chrome day uh, regular chrome taco tuesdays are always good so 52 of those we got to account for if it lands on cinco de mayo which would be Double, double your pleasure. Oh, tacos. I, I'm i taking a little break on the carbs. Another one of these. This one's Salvador Perez. It might have just been a one-day break on carbs. But I didn't eat any yesterday. Yes. And for me, I got to like get in that zone where, where it's a challenge. Like I officially challenge myself to 30 days. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to be like, eh. It's... Two o'clock and I'm hungry for chocolate covered something. What is this? Get two autos out of this box. Brenton Doyle. That's a black to, or gold to 50. Gold to 50. Stars are gold. Okay, I got the right one pulled up. Eric's got the Rockies. Mookie. Home run challenge Soto. That's going to be a juicy one. Just wait till he's at home in the summer. Or when he goes to Fenway. I mean, there's a AL East launching grounds. Encarnacion Strand, rookie. And the Big Hurt. We're moving along. We get to the bottom of this case sooner rather than later. I know, Chris. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of. It's kind of the thing. Really proud that I didn't eat a dozen tacos. Actually not. More disappointed. I think it's more disappointment that I didn't eat a dozen tacos. Hearts get broken. I thought that was the opposite, Jeff. I thought 
thought today was a day for love. Thomas got two jumbos. We're at 771 concurrent. If we can get to 1,000, which all that means is stick around for like 10 minutes. And we'll, if everybody here stays here for 10 minutes, we'll be at 1,000. And I will open up a package that contains a first look. The first look of my PSA one card order featuring the best card I've ever pulled for myself. I haven't looked at the grade yet. We can look at it together. But if we don't get a thousand, I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Well, there's the relic right away. Aaron Nola. Put him with Jose. Man, that one's all the way back. There. I'm going to put Jose on front, though, because that's a pretty sick relic. Oh. <laughs> I feel like a like a money counting machine kind of when I'm just going through here like Olson What do we have? We got Three in a row, somethings. Oh, is that a golden mirror? What is this? It doesn't say golden mirror on it. Is that a golden mirror? Someone help me out. This is the first one I've I've seen. Is that what they look like? Gold on the back. Tops logo. Gold. Gold. It's all adding up. Brennan Donovan, golden mirror. got to be. Yes, yes. Okay, who's got the Cardinals? Anthony. Congratulations on the golden mirror. Nice photo of Brennan Donovan. But wait, there's more. Rainbow foil? Yep. Logan Webb. I think we already got a Logan Webb something. Ryan Nelson. Gold. Luis Matos. Altuve. I haven't seen more than one gold in any of these boxes yet. Hobby, not the way to pull a gold. Probably the most inefficient way to pull a gold. But golds are going to be tough no matter what format you open. Break's going good, Alex. 786. You see that number? It's creeping up. We'll get there. Hopefully. It's just an arbitrary number to, to try to hit. Royce Lewis. Silver pack time. You opened seven jumbos and 15 hobbies of series two last year and got one golden mirror. Yeah, they're tough, man. Nando, they're meant to be tough. It's an SSP. SSSSSP. Owen White. I opened up a ton of just all of it. And I think I got two golden mirrors. Not not one good one, though. To the point where I don't even look up golden mirrors because I don't even, like, 
just feels like I'm not going to get one anyway. Just to see the price, you know? I don't even know. Like, what would a Corbin Carroll or a Gunnar Henderson Golden Mirror from last year gold for, go for in a PSA 10? Are we talking, like, is that, like, a $1,000 card? Oh, we got, we already got one. You want to see? Silver pack parallel. We already got an auto and a parallel out of our silver packs. Look. Bryce Harper and Pereira. And we have multiple boxes remaining. Maybe I should. Let me put that up here so people can see that it is possible. To get something crazy out of your silver pack. I mean, I don't know how crazy a Everson Pereira auto is, but. You got a Lawler Golden last year, which was a bummer, but it had Adley on it. <laughs> Made it better. Seen a lot of green silver in the silvers. You got Yoshida SSP 150 raw. That's a good price. Anytime you can get over a hundred bucks for a raw card, man, just especially one that's not an autograph, just take your money and run. In general, you know, don't just a general rule. They do exist, indeed. Stick around. We got a case of jumbo coming up next. And then after that, a hobby jumbo mixer. Half and half. Half a case. Half a case. All in one break. Saw something numbered. Is that gold? It's gold. Bo Naylor with a... A relic that's not 100% where it's supposed to be. I wonder if they'd give... I wonder if you could get a new one. Where do we put this? How about back there? Like a replacement. They might, they might give you a replacement for that. But would it be worth the hassle? You pulled an Ellie Auto this morning? Nice, Marcel. Royce Lewis. Jordan home run challenge. It's an all but guarantee. Luis Robert. JP Crawford with a rainbow foil. Comes a Blueprint, Julio, and Sal Freelich. Gold. Very good hit here. This is one of the best numbered cards we've gotten yet. Like a Sal Freelich gold. Brewers, Eric, congratulations on that, Sal. It's one of the exciting rookies. Very cool. <laughs> um, we have some issues with this music website. Luke and Baker, Rainbow. Andrew Abbott, rookie, in an eighty nine.
Acuna. It's the first time I've seen that one. Shohei. Two home runs and a 10 strikeout game. Ridiculous. Silver pack time. Post your polls. Hashtag my tops hit. Jordan Westberg. Mike Trout. Jason Dominguez. And Shohei Otani. That's the best pack yet. Unless you count the one with an auto. Which, all right, that one was better. Second best pack yet. Three hobbies to go. Lawler doesn't have one. He'll be Series 2, I think. We're saving a few for Series 2. And a few more. Our update should be really good. I think we'll get Jackson Holiday and Chirio an update. That Oh, that'd be crazy. I'm hoping. Because I want update to be good. I hate it when it's when it's like mediocre or mid. Because it the thing about update is it's either really good or mid to bad. Because you have all those rookie debuts in it in there, so it kind of when it's good, it's just so loaded because of the debuts. Also, if we can get like two primo rookies and all the debuts from the previous series one and series two. And then Chrome update's going to be really good, too. Thanks, BMAC. Lawler's in the 89. Yeah, but just base. I was just talking about base. Maybe you guys were talking about the 89. That's how you know if they're in Series 2. If they don't have a base card in here, but they, they've got a 89. Going to be in Series 2. It's just an extension of Series 1. It would be cool if they took the update card pictures during spring training. Silver pack first for a little luck, even though the last one was good. There's a green. Lawrence Butler, Tony Gwynn, Kyle Harrison, and the big green, Bo Jackson. It's a blurry Bo photo. 84 of 99. Blurry bow. Second silver pack parallel of the case. Put him with Bryce. Where do you get your top loaders? Cardshells.com. C-A-R-D-S-H-E-L-L-Z.com. Use code STRIKEFORCE. S-T-R-Y-K-E-F-O-R-C-E for 10% off. They are the best top loaders and soft sleeves, period. Evaldi. The pre-cut corners on the soft sleeves are clutch. And the seamless top loaders, they look good. They look great. Joe Adele. Blue Joe Adele, what? Oh, it's a Father's Day. One of 50. Got it. Well, there's our first low low. First 
for Jonathan. We're running out of space. Nolan. Bruzdar. Rainbow foil. Grand Gamers Matheson. Got the relic, and it's Key Brian Hayes. That one's going to Eric. I think we can use 75 point for these relics. Yep. Should we put Ellie like where we can see him? That's a big hit. Yelich. Home run challenge, Luis Robert. Got an 89 Larkin. Aaron Judge, three home run game. Celebration of the kid. Shohei 89. Two hobbies left. <laughs> I know. I was thinking the same thing, Brian. But I think it's 20 extra. 330, 350. Either way, point taken. I didn't see, I haven't seen any, Jeff. It's just the, the camera that makes it look like that. I haven't seen any chipping. It's really glossy. Happy flagship day, Julia. You got two hobbies in a jumbo? Oh, good luck. Hitting a numbered Ellie or auto seems impossible. It's no more impossible than any other card to hit gonna get a gold per per hobby box there's tons of different parallels in retail retails a the format to chase parallels and auto yeah that's gonna be really hard to get an le auto because the autos are really hard period but we just got an le hfa so it's not possible it's no more difficult to get an le parallel than any other parallel i mean there's plenty of them I think the best way, because you can get all the holiday ones out of blasters, so that'd be a good good way to go to chase. Holiday parallels, at least. But there's also the additional royal blue parallel out of retail stuff. So it's just going to be better all around chasing parallels in retail. There's Jordan Walker, and that is player worn. Snuck a player worn in there, eh? See what you did. Just like game used, game used, game used, player worn, game used. Luciano.
Here's a gold. David Bednar to 2024. Evan Longoria, rainbow foil. Aaron Judge Rainbow. No, 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 not so fast. Just assumed it's a red to 199. That looks different this year. The red is a different color. It's like a, it looks orange. You sure that's not an orange striker? No, I'm not, but it's to 199. In the right light, it looks red, but then in a, in, in a different light, it looks orange. Pretty nice card. Quite nice for Anthony. There's Ellie. 2023. Greatest hits. Home run challenge, Freddie Freeman. Mason Wynn. Davis Schneider. Rainbow Foil Rookie. Ryan Sandberg. And the final little stack of this box. Cunha. Literally stealing a base. Silver Pack time. Wow, another numbered card. We got an orange in here. We've been hitting the parallels out of this hobby. Hobby case. Bo Jackson. Altuve. Oh, wow. What a pack. Back-to-back -back Ellie's. Is it possible? Ooh, Shohei. Orange and Ellie. Monster pack. That's numbered to 25. 8 to 25 Otani. Gnarly. Sweet Ellie, too. That's collectible. Big time. Last hobby box. Next up, jumbo case. Stick around. Have you hit any parallels of the inserts? Yeah, we got a blue blueprint and a black something. Black 89, maybe? Is that what it was? It's actually, this case has been pretty pretty good. Like, we didn't get any big autos, but you know, it's tough to pull an auto, even out of a hobby box. I would expect uh, better luck with autos out of the jumbo case. But that HFA, Orange Shohei, Ellie Silver Pack. We guess we got some pretty good stuff. Got a case hit auto relic. It's a break, Drake. Yeah, I heard there were late edition short prints with Otani and Soto in their new uniforms and their, yeah, perk cards. But I don't have any info other than what I saw in that commercial. So I'm sure, you know, those are going to be like crazy tough pulls. 
Are they going to be golden mirrors? Are they just going to be like SSPs? Don't know. Not sure, Chris. I didn't do the production numbers for this series. When I was making that breakdown video, I was, if uh, John from ERB Sports sent them to me, I would have used them, but I never got an email. So just decided to pass, pass on that. Westberg. What is this? What is this? Blue Bobby. That's what that is. That's a sweet Bobby. Blue Parallel. Walker Bueller. Rainbow Foil. Blueprint Ellie. Mauricio Grand Gamer Feller Home Run Challenge Julio followed by Garcia Rainbow Foil and here's our gold Corey Seager no Correa why did I say Seager don't know Henry Davis, 89. Do you have my email? Uh, it's available in all my videos, but it's all good. Not a big deal. Jeremy Pena. Found I found someone who does the... Uh, all the production stuff on Twitter. So I forget, I forget what his name is. But all that info is floating around out there anyway. A lot of info packed into that video anyway. I don't, I don't want it to be information overload. Probably already is anyway. It was for me. <laughs> Anything more would probably just be like, all right, break it into two. I don't know. We got Miggy, and this is the end of the hobby. Last silver. I think we did really good on our silvers in general. Mason Wynn rookie. There's Seeger. Sonny Gray. And Sheehan. All right, let's check out the hits. Standworthy hit. One moment. I got to do this. Why do we keep freezing up? We got some good ones. T minus two minutes, jumbo case, ready to go. Sitting right next to me, screaming to get opened. All right, here it is. Gold Sal Freelick. Bow Nailer Relic. 
Jeremy Pena. That's a game used. City Connect. Black Pete to 199. Game used. Suzuki Bat Relic. That one's game used. Pereira, we did get a silver pack auto. That's numbered to 199. Kutch to 299. Orange Otani to 25. Nice judge there, too. To 199. Red, red ice. Bo Jackson to 99. Lots of silver pack fire. Bryce Harper to 150. Jeremy Pena, game used. Joe Adele, Father's Day. One of 50. Chris Bryant, game used bat. Key Bryan, game used. Abreu. Not from the 2023 postseason on the 2023 postseason card, though. At least they're honest about it. <laughs> 15 to 25. That is a tough hit. Aaron Nola, game used. Salvador Perez, color, team color. They're both, we got two of them, and they're both from the Royals. Pretty weird. But they look great. Another Sal Freelick. It was the Sal Freelick parallel party. Rainbow foil. Jordan Walker. Player worn. Brenton Doyle auto. That's gold to 50. Fermin. Standard. Jordan Wicks. Unnumbered. Brennan Donovan. Golden mirror. That's what the golden mirrors look like. They took that big gaudy SSP right off of there and just made a gold back. Ali De La Cruz silver pack and the big boy. Home field advantage, Ellie. Looks very clean and vivid. They upgraded the HFAs this year, and I am in favor of it. <laughs> Jumbos. Break number two. We have arrived. Oh, it's all good here, John. Uh, if it was uh, important, I just would have emailed you. It wasn't that. It wasn't that uh, that big. Like I said, information overload. Two more. It's just like no room. Sorry, guys. This is awkward. No room up here. They barely fit. Jumbos. Dude, these better these better just be fully loaded with silver packs. Break number two. Jumbo case. Blades get dull. Oh, I know why. Wifey was cutting cardboard. They may have gotten mixed up too. Valentine's Day box. Yay, we got silver packs. My wife and daughter made a, a Pac-Man like game Valentine's Day box. Dulled the blade on me. <laughs> it's just offensive on the postseason relic. Yeah, 
I'm not offended. Adley. I don't get offended very easily. I may take exception. But to be offended... Relic number one. Another Jeremy Pena. That's a game used. Oh, man, the gold foil. Okay, this is a breath of fresh air. The gold foils look awesome. Yes, they do. And to have a another little thing out of the jumbos feels good. And we can just fly through all these bat cards. I like it. I'm a fan of jumbos for multiple reasons. Jumbos look better to me, says Thomas. Fewer manufactured relics, yeah. And gold foils are killer. And all the cards are the same direction. Although that, you know, hobby as well. Angels. Julio, that's a sweet card. City Connect, is that City Connect? Yeah, let me just go like that. Oh, this is... I like this. Just from a breaker standpoint, like put my breaker hat on. It's really nice because like, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but um, flagship releases, breakers don't make money on those. They're very little, put it that way, if any. Just because there's so much like to go through and there's, it's, the price, there's just no money. Vado, Mother's Day, 30 of 50. So to make it easier to sort through the cards is helpful, very helpful. Who's got the reds? Jeremy does, congratulations. Boom. Oh, thank you. Just like that. Chris says, I assume Series 1 will go on sale eventually for those who care to wait. Um, it's tough to say, man. If, it's tough to say. But typically, that's player worn, Acuna. Typically, if you wait till like, Topps Chrome comes out, if you want to wait that long, then it'll it'll most likely go on sale in some way, shape, or form by then. Yeah, this is better. Jumbos are better. Look at we got two legitimate relics. I haven't seen any manufactured relics. They're listening. They're listening to the people. Our requests. Get rid of those stinking manufactured relics, and no one wants them. And they're like, okay. Caminero rookie. First Caminero I've seen. Am I going to have to find a new place to get music from? We got 835 legends in the chat. Shout out to you. Let's get some positive vibes going. I like to see the fire in the chat. That'll help us get hits. Somehow. Bound to. Any big pulls so far? Yeah, that first break was pretty loaded. Jefferson should check it out. I think we got a DVR. I, I know we have DVR going on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. You can do it. Website. With a little encouragement to the website, it can accomplish anything. Gomber, gold. Ruiz, rainbow. Glorious. What do you want to see up front? We don't have a lot of room over here yet. 
go like this. We'll just kind of call that good. Do you guys want to save the silver packs for the end, like all at once? Or should we open them while we're opening the box? It's up to you. There may be a little more anticipation that we can build up. Oh, my stream is way behind. Taylor Rogers gold foil. One of those packs, couple of inserts, not much else. What's up, Leo? Wesley, I won't tell, but I appreciate it. Appreciate the, the view, the watch. And I'm no narc. Your secret's safe with me. Big Bear says, save the silver. Chase all at once. Liam, do a pull. Great idea, Liam. Liam's always on top of things. Silvers? Question mark? End? Or? Mm. End or now? You have uh, like a minute to get your vote in. Mackenzie Gore is the autograph. Man, you know, I needed some people to sign some things, but I see gold stars. It's possible that's the 50. Indeed it is. 12 of 50. I'm trying to buy you a little more time for the poll. We're going to get McKenzie up on the stage. And he's going to cover up Jeremy Pena's relic. Logan Allen gold foil. We'll see how many people can delay gratification. Who can let a box of cards sit on the shelf and not open it? We're about to find out with the results of this poll. Vote now. Seems to be a little too loud. There. Devers home run challenge. These cards are better this year, too, aren't they? Quinn Priester, gold foil. <clears throat> what does it even say? It's cut off. Quality control department dropped the ball on that. Okay, I'm going to end the poll. Ending the poll. The winner is... Save them for the end, 56%. There they are. We're saving them for the end. What an extravaganza that's going to be. Then after this break, we're doing half hobby, half jumbo. Half a case of each in one break. Christopher Morell. Future Stars. I like the Future Stars. Looks good this year. Classic. Mason Wynn. And then all that. <clears throat> Delaying gratification, Chris. You should try it sometime. It's pretty sweet. Bo Naylor. Player worn. Mookie. Gold. 
foil, gold foil. Ellie De La Cruz, a six RBI game. The doubters are going to find out this year. 21-year-old Ellie lacked a little bit of plate discipline. Wait till you see what he's capable of. <clears throat> Believe me. He's going to he's going to do some special things. He just got to keep working real hard. What's up, Doug? New here? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. By the way, anybody who's new, you hit the subscribe button while you're while we're live or if you drop a super chat or a gifted membership or something, it'll pop up right up here so everybody can see how awesome you are. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm not from Cincy. I'm from Michigan. I just have a lot of Major League hats because I like baseball. I like to have... A hat for whatever kind of mood I'm in. And I'm in the Ellie chasing mood and it's already worked. We already pulled an Ellie HFA and Silver Pack rookie. I couldn't tell you, Haley. What is this? That looks cool. That's a blue parallel. That looks really cool. All tops team, blue Julio. Outfilo. Outfilo. I got to get him up there. Renjifo. Gold foil. Marte. Series two Martes. Luciano. Bunch of base. Yeah, I'm going to let him marinate, Jay. Should we? You know what? Why don't we get Clayton sitting on top of him? He's going to put all the good juices in those packs. Look at this. Our first manufactured relic. And it is a commemorative stadium medallion. Jose Altuve. Actually, it looks kind of cool. To $2.99. They feel more special when they're not in every jumbo box. These are actually cool ones. Like that that's a good way to do it, I think. Spend a little extra making them awesome, which it feels like this is a more expensive uh just because that that little medallion is like refracting and it's glossy and it's um it's like made of resin or something. And then the whole card is even is thicker and it's numbered. I'm on board with the change. Although, if you want to phase them out completely, I'd understand. But I, as long as they're not too common. Cunha. <laughs> you sure? You sure that says outfield? I don't know. Could be anything. O'Hearn. Another Ellie. 2023. Jose Rodriguez, gold foil, grand gamers, Nolan Ryan. Doug, you got to join the Patreon group to get in on the breaks. I got a link right here. Also, StreamBot drops the link all the time. Or, well, like every 20 minutes. Here you go. You gotta become a slammer to get in on the brakes. 
Zach Galoff, Rainbow Foil, Rookie, Ty Cobb, Grand Gamer, indeed. When will you have some 2024 cards on eBay? I'm going to break a case of retail tomorrow. And then I'm also going to break a, I'm going to break a case of hangers, uh, PC breaking. Oh, that's cool. And I'm going to break a case of blasters and some Fanatics boxes and mega boxes. So I'll be putting cards on eBay soon. Veritech auto. That's sweet. On card. I like that a lot. Going to Boston, Jeremy. Corey Seeger, Soto, and Cole. Last pack in this box. Gardening plans this year? Yeah. I'm um, going to be doing the usual. Cucumbers to make pickles, green beans to pickle green beans, potatoes because it's easy and you can do anything with potatoes, Goldschmidt, Jordan Gold to 2024, nice Jordan, but yeah, we'll be getting the garden going for sure, built a new fence last year to keep the deer out and it worked, it worked really well. We get a lot of deer in our yard. My wife's got probably like six to eight bird feeders spread around. And the deer just come and eat like the leavings on the ground. They'll even eat it right out of the bird feeder, but two more silvers. Clayton, get busy. Between the deer and my dog, like when we put the dog out on the chain, she goes under the bird feeders and just starts eating whatever they dropped. And then she comes inside and gets sick. You'd think she'd learn. Silly dog. Back to back Ellie's of some sort. Resilient Reds. Ellie Blueprint. Image variations, the golden mirrors, they're going to be right, they're going to be right here. All the stuff, all the good stuff is right here. Like, what are we talking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards deep. All the good stuff starts coming. Player worn Jordan Walker. Will Brennan Rainbow Foil. Maggie, Morel, and a bunch of, you know, a bunch of, you know. Cardinals hit going up on the stage. We get a, a wonderful variety of birds out here. Tons of Cardinals. We get Orioles, hummingbirds, all different kinds of like woodpeckers, exotic, huge woodpeckers, like three different, three, four different kinds. I don't even know. Colt Kowser. Got to get your hummingbird feeders out early, though, or else they won't come around. Early spring. <laughs> you think our dogs are related? They love that bird seed, don't they? It's like they think they're getting away with something, and then they get sick. Matt Manning. Green to one or to four ninety nine. Eighty of four ninety nine. Yeah, the ice parallels look icy. So I read today that Casey Mize was playing with a back injury. I think maybe his entire big league career to that point. 
So that could have been a reason why like his velocity was a little bit down and he his, he just kind of looked like a, you know, maybe a number three pitcher. He didn't look like the number one overall pick. So he's coming into the year completely healthy and that that does number uh, like a world of benefits for our pitching staff if he can be I mean even like a number 2 would be great game used key Brian but we got Scooble as like number 1 ace up top and he's dominant so dominant lefty if we could get a dominant righty It just has a different mix of pitches and a, a different kind of pitcher altogether. Corbin Carroll Cup. That's a cool card. I've not seen that yet. Like Mize has a ton of pitches. We get some heat. Like Manning, you know, maybe like a fire, a flame throwing pitcher, and then one with like four or five different pitches, and then a dominant lefty. Nice mix and get Maeda, just eat some innings and just give us a chance. Marte, Ramirez, Clayton. What are you going to do with that tech card? What are you talking about? Tech card? George Kirby to 2024 gold. Ooh, Colton Kowser. Oh, nice. Gold foil Kowser. That looks great. QC. It's pretty centered. Going to the O's. Stu. Curtis Mead. Scooble for Cy Young. That's not out of the question. Average lifespan of a hummingbird is five years, but they've been known to live for more than 10 years. Really? We get a lot of hummingbirds, too. It's pretty sweet. I'll go out at night and... Sit on the porch, and they're just buzzing all. They get, they like to fight. Ellie De La Cruz, a nice one, eighty nine. It's gonna be, it's gonna have some value. But hummingbird fights are wild. Oh, Veritech Auto. Yeah, it's not mine. This is just a break. You think Detroit wins the division? Possible. It's up for grabs. Owen White. Another on-card auto. Rangers hit. Grove, Riley. Yeah, it's kind of like the Lions situation this year. Like our division was bad also that, you know, that helped. It always helps when your division's bad. Make, make the playoffs, make a little run. Although Green Bay ended up being better than people thought. Definitely better than I thought, and I still don't buy it. Two more silvers for Clayton to work his magic. Dean says... I'm opening hangers from Walmart, and they have two yellows. They have yellows in the two-per box. They're sick. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. They all do. 
and they also have yellow foils. There's like, there's three different kinds of yellows in the hangers. There's standard yellows, you get two per box, and then there's like yellow foils and then yellow foil board, or yellow ice and then yellow foil board, something like that. Only one of them are numbered though, the yellow foil boards. Those are tough, they're gonna be tough, but it's gonna be collectible for sure. Everybody always loved the yellows, man. Tons of value back in the day from the Walmart yellows. Like it made Walmart, or, or, I'm sorry, Target. No, Walgreens, Walgreens yellows. I made the Walgreens hanger boxes super valuable and sought out. People would just drive all around to try to find them. But now that they're available in all of them, that's, that's better for me because I could never find them at Walgreens. Alvarez, now you can just buy whatever, whenever. Buy a case of hangers if you want. Jordan to two ninety nine. Because if you wanted to buy like a case of Walgreens hangers back in the day, it would be a secondary. You'd have to get it on the secondary market, and they charge like thirty bucks a piece for them or something. Like to the point where it's like I think I'll pass. What's up, Wong? Brian De La Cruz rainbow foil. Nando in a blueprint. Mattingly. Where do you get your card stands from? <laughs> I don't remember. Like BCW or eBay or something. I think I think Card Shells has some. I'm about to get involved in, with a company. I just haven't had time. I apologize if you're watching right now, but... I'm about to start working with a company that makes card stands. More information on that soon. What is this? Vintage stock. Oh man, they made the vintage stock special this year. 11 of 99. That looks awesome. I love it. I love that they made vintage stock unique. It's the little things like this. Am I right? It is Elzele. Not like a huge, huge hit or anything, but cool. Great idea. I didn't come up with that idea. Did not. But I like it. And I wish I would have. What is this? It's a real relic and it's a gold. O'Neill Cruz. Let's call that a color match. Two of 50. O'Neill Cruz this year. He's gonna do some things if he can stay healthy. Pirates are starting to build their way up to a serviceable team. Still a ways away, but there's some things happening at least. I'm liking it. Bryce parallel. Rainbow foil. <laughs> they love that bird seed, don't they, Jason? 
I mean, they love anything that even remotely resembles food. Joey Weimer. Like I straight up today, like my dog is looking right at me when I was in the kitchen. I wasn't getting food or anything. I was just in there getting a cup of coffee and she's just staring at me. She knows what the kitchen means. It means droppings on the floor or whatever. And I just like, I was like, what? What do you want? Like with my hands open like that. And she's just staring right at me. And I'm like, there's, I have nothing. And I go, look. And I close my hands and I put them down to my side like this. And she just went right up and started like, Nosing them open. I'm like, there's nothing in my hands. All you gotta do is just close your hand. She's like, there's gotta be a treat in there. Even though she saw the whole time. There was not one. I made a funny video too. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload a funny dog video. As soon as I have a little extra time. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, that is a monster hit. Jordan Lawler? Jordan Lawler rookie on card auto. Sneaky, sneaky for William. We were talking about this earlier a little, not the auto, but Jordan Lawler in an 89. Yeah, I figured it out, Father and Son Rips. I threw it in the trash. I got a new one. That's the extent of figuring it out. Bryce Elder gold foil. And then the, the one that I ordered to replace it arrived in the mail damaged. So then I had to get another new one. I know, me too, Mike. Yeah, just like, nothing in there. Home run challenge, Mookie. Mackenzie Gore, gold, foil. Man, oh man, are there a lot of base cards in a jumbo case. Really, Dean? All right, I'll take your word for it. I'm about to see it in person tomorrow. Which I guess we need to get a poll going for that too. I asked earlier, but then I didn't see what everybody put. So PC case tomorrow. Do you want to see hanger boxes or blaster boxes? The poll is live. How much are Yankees running in breaks? I don't know, Caleb. I do random, random teams. But probably, I don't know. This, like, this stuff is very affordable from a break standpoint. So I, I, I don't know. No idea. I don't have the Fanatics Blasters yet, Father and Son Rips. I, I'm not doing both in one day, Sam. That's too much. One at a time, my friend. Ooh, that looks awesome. Man, the team borders look so cool. Team logo borders. Looks great. Angels hit. Nice of you to contact me, MLB subscription, to tell me that you're renewing my... Last year's membership. What is this? Black Parallel Ozzy Albies Bat Relic. For Stewart. We're just like quintuple stacking over there. 
Gold Foil, Aaron Judge, Corey Seager, bunch of base. Hangers have more parallels for half the cost. Well, they well the blasters have. I mean, I did I worked out all the numbers. The blasters have holiday parallels, so there's three of them guaranteed per box. So, and all the other stuff. The only th you're only you're getting two parallels, two gold, two yellows in a hanger box. You're not getting any of the holiday parallels. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays. Sometimes you gotta just rip it yourself to see. Just get the feeling, at least for me. I can watch someone open up like a case and then get a different vibe when I do it myself. There we go. That's the first, uh, whatever they call that, true photo variation. First one, Salvador Perez. Look, we'll compare to a regular card. I got to admit, I'm a little underwhelmed. I don't know what I expected. But. I almost like it with borders better. And the black and everything. I almost like it better with borders. But it is cool. I mean, it's, it's something, I guess. They're going to be very collectible. Chase, that one's heading your way, buddy. In your Diaz cup card. Shohei, 23, Pete. Yeah, Chaz. Yes, there is. Well, I mean, every break, like every release that comes out, <laughs> gotta, five, figures you, you better have five plus figures to to get involved mid fives emerson hancock gold rookie the 2024 at least the way i do it but i you know i started off having nothing and just working my way up to this point i'll put them on the stage because i like it Bat Relic, George Springer. Cole, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, it looks like Stadium Club. Bud Rips. That's what I was thinking. Looks like Stadium Club, but not quite. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of more than Stadium Club, because Stadium Club at least has like, you know, it has got like a little half, a quarter border. It says Stadium Club, and it's glossy. Like this doesn't, it's not as glossy, and it just, but I know what you mean. Like it, it definitely has like attributes of stadium club, stadium club feel, but not completely. It, oh, what? There's a different release. Trying to think of Oh, Bowman Heritage. I know, maybe not, it's definitely not 100%, but it feels a little bit like that. Nineties split. Yep. Oh, Colas, gold foil. Trout, Westberg. Saving the silvers. We're almost to the silver pack extravaganza that's going to take place really soon. Lock in. Hit the like. We only have three hundred eighty-eight likes, and we've had forty-five hundred people swing by. 
Do me a solid. Like it. Bay orange. The orange looks orange. Now, like if you put the orange next to the red, you can tell the difference between the red. But on it, on the surface, the reds look orange. The 299. Cal Raleigh. Rainbow Foil. Derek Jeter. Blueprint. Jordan Lawler. Rookie. Orange and yellow. Look swell. Yeah, it's it's one of those mark where you you basically you're just doing it for the love of doing it. Brian Wu. I like that. I like Brian Wu. He's my He's my guy. He's got big big K upside. Last pack in this box. Design, um, all different stuff, man. Donate a lot of them. Home run challenge, you're done. Here's an idea. What if we had Instead of like, you know how you can pick whether you think it's going to be like the extra long home run. I can't remember how many feet it's supposed to be to get the, the bonus one. What if instead of being able to pick you, there's two different home run challenge cards. There's like home run challenge. And then there's like a super deluxe home run challenge one. And that gets you something really sweet because you do have to get the extra yard or the extra feet on the home run. And then if you actually get it, like you get some, I don't know what that would be. That's for them to figure out, but kind of like those fanatics boxes this year, how they included some uh, authentic autograph memorabilia, something along the lines of that. Maybe it doesn't have to be mem autograph memorabilia, but something different. What if you actually like, okay, here's, I, I'm going to take it one step further. What if you actually got the ball? The home run ball that they hit. So all the people that got it right for that month or whatever it is, they get entered into a, it's not going to be that many people. You get entered into a raffle to get the ball that they hit the home run. That'd be tricky. It'd be a lot of work, but that would be something. And maybe they sign it too. It's going to take a while to get that. That would be sick. Ooh, look at all these silvers. Did we get them all? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yes. I'm the only one that got gypped on silver packs. Can you believe that? I opened one stinking jumbo for myself. And no silver bags. Are you a fan of the Mariners? Yeah. Devin Williams. Flat Rock. Um, Ellie's... <sighs> Pitch selection is not like he's a swinger, man. He's a free swinger. So he's got to develop in that area. Not swing at so much stuff, not strike out so much. And then he will be one of the best players in the league. One of the most dynamic players the league's ever seen if he can get those K's down. But that's a, that's a tale as old as time. If you can only stop striking out so much. Easier said than done.
But there's been players who have overcame. Plenty of them. But he's got all the other tools. The delayed satisfaction of the silverbacks is killing me, says Big Bear. Uh, we're almost there, buddy. Just hold out a little bit longer. You can do it. But Aquino wasn't a switch hitter, and he didn't have the speed. Ellie's got, like, special speed, power combo, and a switch hitter. Aquino was a little bit different. The Punisher. Such a cool nickname, though. So since he's kind of not involved anymore, someone should steal that nickname and use it. Because the Punisher is just too good. It's, it's got to be an active nickname for someone. Not bad. Nick Gonzalez. Rainbow foil rookie. Not too bad. You know what? I'm, I'm even going to top load him. Because I respect him. We're almost there. Yeah, I, I gotta see an Independence Day too. Oh, we got a fa we got a Mother's Day and Father's Day so far. Stick around for a minute. I'll show you. We got Mother's Day back there. We got Father's Day in the first one. First break. Kyle Bradish. The Father's Day fooled me because it, it was the same color. Fooled me for a second. It was the same color of blue as the like the insert blues that you would get. I had to look at it for a second. Like, what is this? Usually the Father's Day is like a powder blue. It, it just, I don't know. It's, it's different. Not, maybe not as glossy of a look. More of a powder blue Easter, Easter blue. I don't know. Robin egg. TM pulled an Independence Day. Very cool. I can't wait. Yeah, they look awesome from what I've seen. Do we have an on-card auto? Gold parallel? Looks like we do. David Wright. Legendary player. Gold, too. Number to 50. Five of 50 on that David Wright. Going to Hector. We got Gavin Williams, gold rookie. That's collectible. Coco Montez. Never heard of him. But that was a good pack. That's the kind of pack you want to get. If you buy an individual pack at the card shop, which I would not recommend. But I know people still do. And if you do. Nice. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks good. They got it right this year. Another relic. CC. Game used. It's going to be game used on the legend relics. We're almost to Silver Pack Palooza. Clayton's been working hard.
There it is. Ready? Good job, Clayton. An advance. I like doing it this way. Very, f a lot less blacksmith breaks. We'll check it out here. We'll see how many manufactured we got. I think we only got two manufactured relics out of that whole case. So another hat tip to tops. Like a lot of people like to bag on them and listen, I'll bag and I will present arguments and suggestions when it's due, but I like a lot of what I'm seeing out of this release. Bo, Altuve, Ellie, pack number one is looking good. Adley. Pack number one, we get an Ellie De La Cruz. Way fewer of this rookie than this rookie. Or the flagship. Eric with a 20 month hitter chat. Congrats on 50K striker. Keep crushing and cheers. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for your continued support. Henry Davis, rookie. Pujols. Vlad Jr. Oh, Junior, that's cool. I haven't seen Junior yet. I wish I could just open silver packs like this all day. 913, can we get to 1,000? Luciano. Randy. Mattingly and Yelich. So far, no parallels. Hobby case, multiple parallels, and an auto. Let's see how the jumbo case responds. Is Hobby case better than you, jumbo case? Are you going to let them take the championship crown? Jazz, Alvarez, Robert, Kowser. How's the poll going? Looks like hanger boxes are winning so far. Ryan Sandberg and Gavin Williams. Freddie Freeman. Peter Alonzo. This one feels a little thicker. Just me, I guess. Sal Freelich. Big Mac. Shohei. No. Okay. I just couldn't tell. We did get a thicky in here. It was thicker. Emmett Sheehan. One parallel so far. More than half to go. Got multiple sleevers out of that one, too. Shohei, Freelick, even Gavin Williams. People like Gavin Williams. What's the most watched ever? Uh, slightly over a thousand. Marte, it's nice. Marte Series 2, Judge, and Schmidt. I think we got like 1,100. It's one time. I wonder if I can... Nah, can't do it. They all feel the same. McGuire made it feel thicker. Trey Turner... Herrera, Guerrero, and Julio. Like it. I got to get a hat with the Trident. I got a regular Mariners hat, but I want a Trident one. Curtis Mead. And the kid. Three left. And then we're going to do a split case. Half hobby, half jumbo. Another parallel coming up. 
another mead. Who's the blue? It's upside down. Tony Gwynn blue. Or the Padres, Scott. It's number to 150. Nice looking card. Wade Boggs, Chipper Jones, Jeff Bagwell. Last one. Can we get an auto out of here? It's a blue. Evan Carter, rookie. That's good. Got two good parallels out of our silvers in this case. At least two. The final Bagwell. Looking for a big parallel rookie out of these silver packs. Or an auto. I mean, Bagwell's a fine gentleman, but we would like a blue Evan Carter or something of that ilk. Let's check out the hits and compare. We'll find out what's better, hobby case or jumbo case. With the lack of manufactured relics. See, that's something that you they don't tell you, really. I mean, maybe you could have figured it out if you dive really deep into the numbers, but I didn't know there was going to be fewer, much fewer manufactured relics this year. No idea. I might have advertised that if I was them. Hold on just one sec. Try to organize these a little bit for a better viewing experience. Let's start out with those manufactured relics. We only got two. Whole jumbo case. Two of them. And it's Altuve and Alvarez. And guess what? They're numbered to 299. So I don't know if they're all numbered, but if they are, they are going to be quite rare and it makes it more collectible and better. The only manufactured relics you get are numbered. So you know they're limited and they're actually pretty cool. Next up. Got the Bagwell to 150 silver pack, as well as Tony Gwynn. Marte, silver, Mojo, Sheehan to 99. Ellie. Team, Porter, Griffin Canning. Colton Kowser, gold foil. Got the true photo, Salvador Perez. Joey Votto, here's the Mother's Day. 30 of 50. Standard Mother's Day, pink. Bay, to two ninety nine. Matt Manning, to four ninety nine. Julio, blue parallel. Gavin Williams, gold. Emerson Hancock, gold. Alzale, and this is what the vintage stock looks like. Totally, totally different. Well, kind of different. I mean, it's still got the same vibe. It's just, it's great. Complete vintage stock back. 11 of 99. I love what they did with the vintage stocks this year. Good job. Relics. CC. Key Brian. Ozzy Albies to 199. Bat relic. George Springer. Bat. 
O'Neill Cruz, gold, two of 50. Montero to 199, black. Cunha. Jordan Walker. Pena. Bo Naylor. And then the autos. Got a big boy here, Jordan Lawler. On card. Brian Wu. David Wright, gold. Five of 50. Mackenzie Gore Gold. 12 of 50. Owen White, that's on card. And Jason Veritek, on card. I think we did good on that case. I think we did really good. Okay, next up, half jumbo, half hobby. Let's do it. Break number three. Let's start with this jumbo so I got room. How's that pole looking? I might close her down. 59% say hanger boxes. I'm going to close her down. Locked in, hanger box case, coming your way tomorrow. Probably do it live. You know it. You know a greenskeeper. We're going to save the silver packs again because that was so much fun.
Mike coming in with 10 gifted memberships. Very generous. Thanks, Mike. Celebration of the kid. Rainbow foil. And the base. Lots of people hanging out today. Thanks, Mark. We got a relic. It's a black parallel of Michael Harris. Number to 199. Get the proper spreadsheet going here. Going to Eric. Chris Taylor. Mookie. Cunha. I got to bust open one of these. These relics fit in 75 points. It's kind of a weird point top loader, 75. I would almost recommend getting 100 points because they fit more things. But since I open up so many different things, I can find the perfect. Like they're they're they fit perfectly for for these relics. But then you might get something like museum collection. You're gonna need hundred points for those. So if you do need to get some thick boys, but you don't rip like tons and tons, hundred point will fit a lot of different things. Favorite card so far, asks Don. Uh, we got a Ellie De La Cruz HFA. That was a good one. I like that one. Hope I'm so lucky to pull a card that good when I do a case of my own. Corbin Carroll cup card, gold foil. Open the package. I'm going to do it tomorrow, Greenskeeper. Tomorrow. There's just too much going on today with with these breaks and sorting and time. and uh, I, I'm going to get all this stuff out by tomorrow. It's not like it takes that long to open up a package, but I think it'll be best tomorrow when there's no time limit. We can just relax. Take it easy. Dansby, game used bat, going to Justin. Because I got multiple things to open. It's not just that. If we would have got to a thousand, we got something special. I mean, there's still a chance. Home field advantage, Matthew. You also hit that, Noah? Congratulations. We're close. We're knocking on the door. Yeah, PSA package and other things. <clears throat> My wife and I don't, we don't really care about Valentine's Day. I got a good one. She doesn't care about Valentine's Day. Jordan Westberg, gold. She knows it's just a made up holiday to spur the economy. What do you think is a better bang for your buck? Hobby box or jumbo box? You should go to my page when the stream is done. I made a video like two, three videos ago, breaking it all down. 
You should watch that video. All the info you need. Evaldi to 299. Going to William. We're getting some stand worthy cards. Box number one. Yeah. Black Auto, Emmett Sheehan. Emmett, he took his time, put a lot of effort into this one. Number to 199. He's like, I know people are going to be paying 200 bucks a box for my auto, so I'm going to I'm going to make it count. It's almost like he took that marker and just like taped it to a baby's hand and then like tickled him and they're just like <laughs> <laughs> Lindor Gold Pete Different Emmett, Eric. Our boy Emmett will sign much better than that. Emmett Olsen. You watch. He's going to have autos and Bowman this year. Twenty four packs to rip. Ready? Gunnar Henderson has a horrible auto. Not as bad as a lot of them I've seen. I've seen way worse than Gunners. Emmett Sheehan, for example. At least that first scribble kind of looks like a curse of E. Capital, capital E. It's kind of. But if you were to just show, like, if you didn't know that that was an autograph of that guy and you took that scribble to somebody and were like what's this say zero percent they tell you zero they wouldn't even get close they'd be like uh, like they couldn't even guess it doesn't say anything I don't know if they published the article yet, but I should have uh, a, I don't know, a reporter, a reporter ask me some questions about this release. It should be an article with my stuff in it coming out. If it's not already out, they never told me. So it's like some sports, sports something. Pretty bad, I know. Sports card something, something, something. Yoshida, but I, I gave him some good answers.
Sports Car Digest? That might be it. Let me see. Sports Collector's Digest. That's what it is. You got an article with the striker in here? I'm not seeing a whole lot. Wow, that looks great. I love it. I love the team logo border. It's my favorite. Soderstrom, rookie. Ellie is so mid, coming from the guy without a highlight on his name. I mean, if you don't got a green or blue highlight and you're saying someone else is mid, How's anybody going to take you seriously? Alex Bregman, game used. Blue. Gold William Contreras. Nice. That looks good. Gold and yellow. Gold and gold. Matt Olson. JD. Atlanta Braves team card, rainbow foil. Don't we love our team cards? There was a pre order for the new, thanks for the sub TC, for the new Avengers medal coming out home run challenge Arenado. <sighs> I thought long and hard about it I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to get any they're expensive less expensive if you pre-order them but to be honest with you I didn't really like the the designs I was looking at I wonder if Neo's in here if he's got something to say about it I'd like to hear what he has to say Spidey hits, I'm sure, is going to be all over it. But I just didn't like like the artwork. It looked kind of... just looked like something I'm not really interested in collecting. Oh, you're talking about his auto being mid? Oh. Well, I thought you were a Wong. The Wong's always saying Ellie's mid. I'm used to it. But Wong's at least got a highlight next to his name. Or uh, over his name. A green highlight on his name. <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, it's not that bad. Do I, have, I think I have it right here. It's not that bad. At least it's a nice E and then some some stuff going on afterwards. Like, let's compare. 
Ellie's is way better. You gotta give Ellie a little bit of a break. He's, he's got a kind of a long name. Kind of a snoozer. Let's get a different genre. feels thicker than the rest. Websites give me fits today. Bow blueprint. Correa. Patrick Corbin, rainbow foil. Bobby Greatest Hits. Jordan Westberg. So yeah, another manufactured relic. This one's to 299. All numbered. Few and far between manufactured relics. But the ones you get. Not bad. First ba There's a green Williams. Green ice to four ninety nine. Kind of throwing me off that the numbering's in the bottom now. I wonder why. I wonder why that choice. Only wrong guesses. Go. Why would you learn cursive now that we have computers? I don't know, to sign your name? I don't know if you ever bought a house before, but you gotta sign that dog about 100 different times. Or if you're signing autographs. If you're a professional athlete, might be good. To learn or not. It's 
kind of how we know that you, you know, like it's, a le- I don't know, tough, tougher to forge a person's name if they're in cursive than it is if they're just using standard penmanship. Everybody's kind of got a unique SIG. Use a forensic authenticator to figure it out based on the little idiosyncrasies of your autograph. Is that it? Out of that box. We got a manufactured relic. That was kind of a a meh box. This one's got to be better. Bazooka Tom asks, what's the general vibe check on ripping these? General vibe check. Pretty fun. All kinds of little goodies. Silver packs have been more loaded than I expect than I expected. Um, there, I like. There's all kinds of good stuff to report. Vintage stock, how they changed it this year. A plus. Team logo border cards. A plus. Real photo variations. L. No need for those ever again. They can't all be winners. All the new ideas, they can't all be. The gold mirrors different this year. I like how the back is gold. It doesn't have a big giant SSP on the back. So they kind of took a middle ground with like what SSPs used to be and what they were last year. Kind of somewhere in between of uh, being able to like notice them easily and having it be somewhat of a treasure hunt surprise. Uh, As far as like chasing parallels from Hobby and Jumbo, it's not the way to go to chase parallels. I don't think, at least the numbers say it's not, but it's not like, it's not horrible. We're getting plenty of parallels. I mean, we're getting a decent amount of parallels. The jumbos feel good, even though the numbers say that it's not a great way to chase parallels. You still get the gold foils. Gold foils look awesome. So you're getting a parallel every other pack. Plus all the rest. Like you're getting a gold foil parallel every other pack, plus all the others. Plus you get two silver packs. So, I mean, hobby format in general is better than I thought it would be. Good vibes from less manufactured relics. I got nothing to complain about other than my missing two silver packs in my jumbo box. Home run challenge, Mookie. Encarnacion. Got numbered Adley here. Black Adley. Rainbow foil. And then you get you get these loaded packs like this. What's up with this Rizzo? Like, why would that Rizzo? Oh, that's okay. That's why. This isn't all one pack. Silly striker. 2024. Numbered gold. So we got three parallels like back to back. Back to back to back. Get that Adley up on the stage. Those black borders are going to be really tough. On these especially, the regular cards, a lot of people have wondered, like, the base cards. They got the black borders. Are they They're going to be super tough to gem? I don't know that it's going to be that big of a deal on the base cards, if it even matters, like, who's sending base cards away anyway to get graded these days. But unless Ellie has, like, a Acuna year, like he had last year, base cards, there's not going to be a whole, I mean, or Dominguez. Either one of those guys are a superstar potential athletes that can do it all that are young enough to garner a lot of hobby attention. So I could see sending some of those base, I guess. 
at least at first, after a while I wouldn't do it, but you never really know what's going to happen with a person's hobby, how crazy of a season they're going to have. With the new rules, if you got power and speed, sky's the limit. Carlos Correa is our relic. It's a game used back. Going to the Twins. John, congratulations. Bryce Harper, blueprint. This is Josh Young Cup. Scherzer and a Rangers uni. Corbin Carroll, blueprint. Did you guys notice a lot of the big leaguers like made posts about the new uniforms they're going to be using? Like the, the Nike Vapor. They used them at the All-Star game. I guess the players are really digging them. Unless they're just contractually obligated to say that they're really awesome, which maybe. What do I want to do? Back to the jumbo? Snow delayed your Series 1, Scott? That sucks, man. Yeah, it feels like it's more fun, Grand Slam and Breaks. I, I'm, it feels better to me this year than like last year's Series 1 or even the year before or even... I had fun with 2020 Series 1 just because, I, you know, it was a really good checklist with Bo and Jordan. Andy Rodriguez, Rainbow Foil. I had a lot of fun with 2020 Series 1. But this is... This feels... Maybe it's a combination of a lot of things they, they got right with this. And it's like another year of Fanatics having experience with the whole thing. I, it, it just feels like it's kind of all coming together now. Paul Goldschmidt game used bat relic. Steve with a dollar 99. Congrats on 50K. Happy release day, brother. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it, man. Big 50K. Feel like I can finally take a breath. JP Sears gold foil. Oh. We are not. Oh, yeah, we are in a jumbo. Seen all you've seen is hate for the jerseys, Andy. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just my my Twitter feed was just like player after player after player. Like, oh, I can't wait. These are going to be sweet. These are awesome. We used them in the All Star game. They're really comfortable and blah blah blah. Zach Giloff. The twenty twenty four. It's a good player. I'm gonna top load him. Significant rookie. Vogelbosch, Nando, Mattingly. Series, well, Series 1 last year, I was gone, too. Like, I was on vacation. So then when I came back, I don't even really remember ripping when I came back, Series 1. But... You know, usually I enjoy most new releases. Yuri Perez, Future Stars. It's a cool card. 
when I don't enjoy it is when there's a like a lot of flipping around of the cards. Makes me not enjoy it. Makes me hate it. When I have to open a lot. If I was old, only opening a box or two, it wouldn't bother me at all. But if I got to open up like 10 cases of it. Furious. Norton with a dollar ninety nine. Yes, congrats to 50K. On to 100K. Woo! Yeah, thank you, Norton. Appreciate it, brother. We'll get there. So, so two cards deep, we get this. Rogers Center with Bo. The 299. Looking like they're all numbered. So we already got two in here. And that one's going to James. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. Rainbow foil. We got a Matt Olson. Anthony Rizzo, 89. We should get Clayton on top of these, eh? Get him soaking. Bieber. Gold foil. Celebration of the Kid, Verlander Rainbow Foil, Bobby Blueprints, and Ichiro. Bradley with a 16-month member chat says, It'd be cool to see Cy Young and Rookie of the Year added to Chrome buy buybacks. Easy there, buddy. I mean, now you're talking. I'm sure it's costing millions just to do the the standard buybacks, but yeah, the more the the more the better. Why not? I don't know about see rookie of the year wouldn't be a good one because we want to keep our rookie cards and upgrade them and stuff. But Cy Young, yeah, that's a good. That's great. The Doctor to one ninety nine. Jonathan, congratulations on your Tristan McKenzie autograph to 199. Thanks, Rooster. And another home run chart card. Judge, followed by gold, Christopher Morell, future stars, and Oviedo, Yoshida. All right, another hobby box, another 20 packs, 
At least it's only 20 packs now. Feels like it doesn't take as long. Obviously, it doesn't. Four less packs to rip. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me too, Eric. It's just like, I just wanted to buy back to continue. It's such a sweet deal. Great, great idea. Definitely encourages the ripping, and it makes the value feel so much better, especially on retail. No wonder. Coming in with $1.99. Congratulations. 50K. I just hit 200. Hit that like. Congratulations to you. Appreciate the super chat. My earliest memory of like a significant milestone, I guess significant. It was, it was significant. It still is was getting to 500 kind of amazing you never know you make a video you never know if anybody's gonna watch it how are they gonna find it why would they watch it you know game use mount castle couple of o's If you have any PSA submission videos, I do. You can probably just type in like something PSA. I don't even remember what it's called. Go to my channel, type in PSA under the search bar. You'll find it. It's probably one of the most viewed PSA guide videos. Improve your gem rate. Home run challenge, Trout. Does Trout play a full season? Yay or nay? We get a full season of Trout, another five plus war season out of him. I think people are kind of overblowing. Like a lot of people think Trout's just kind of like not ever going to play a full season again. Just too injury prone, maybe kind of washed. I disagree. I think there's plenty more in the tank. Cardman John says, I got the Padres in your first 2020 series one case break. It's been a while. Wow. Grand gamers. There's Bo. Verdugo. Rainbow foil. Ooh, this is the first grand gamers parallel. And it's Derek Jeter. Black parallel. Let's compare it to a regular one, shall we? Black parallel, regular. I like the black parallels better. Keep on stacking them. Marte 2023. Luciano.
Ellie, six RBI game. Yeah, Rainbow Foil Nemo. Mason Wynn. And Pre Lander. I got this guy's gold first auto. At least I did. I think I still do. Number to 2024. We got three boxes left. Let's do a hobby. The Viking says Rockies win the World Series. Not this year. What's up, Hollis? Botters, which boxes are better, in my opinion? Jumbos feel better. We haven't gotten a clear card yet. We haven't gotten a black parallel yet. Both extremely tough pulls. The clears are like way, way ridiculously tough. Um, I, yeah, just the at the current price point, the the jumbos feel a little better. But man, our hobbies had better. God, the hobbies have been decent too. Neither of them are bad. I don't. I don't get the vibe of like. Remember last year, jumbos were the way to go. Period. And that's all I did. Now, now it's all coming back. See, all I got was jumbos last year because I knew that they were that like that was the thing. And I didn't even want to rip hobbies on the channel because only the best for the slammers. So I got the jumbos, and they were like loaded compared to hobbies. Whereas this year, it's more even. They like decreased the odds on jumbo stuff but they feel they still they feel good it doesn't feel like you're just ripping ripping for nothing like we're filling the stage up which isn't always the case with series one so whatever they did with you know adding a parallel or two and like taking away the manufactured relics it just it feels good it feels better it feels good well, and I'll have more to compare it to soon with the retail. And then we'll know. We'll know for sure. I still couldn't tell you, like, what the best retail is going to be. Like, I did all the numbers and made that video, but I don't know for sure. Because we don't really know what some of these parallels are going to sell for either. Like, is a holiday parallel good? Like, let's say you get an uh, Ellie De La Cruz, like a basic holiday parallel. What kind of value is that going to have? Same kind of value as a rainbow foil? Or is it going to be, since it's exclusive, is it going to have more value? I didn't really get into the blaster boxes of update last year. I didn't open any of those. So I never really looked at the prices. It's just, I don't, you know, I don't know. There wasn't really anybody super collectible. McLean. So like this is going to be the first time we actually have some highly collectible players in the holiday parallel that you can only get out of blaster boxes. So we will truly find out. And I'm sure some of them already sold, right? Has anybody seen videos of people ripping retail yet? Blasters, for example. I'm going to have to look. We got an auto. Curtis Mead. That's a nice one. Very good. For John. Congratulations, John. One of the better rookies. That's a W, man. Because a lot of them are you know, pitcher nobodies 
Ty Cobb, Grand Gamers. Song. It's a horrible song. Why would anybody make a song like that? Let's find a minor key that's unappealing to the ears. What do we have here, Bobby? Cool. Green ice Bobby parallel. There's a lot of questionable music on this playlist. I think we should switch it to top. Nope. Staff picks. There we go. We're almost there. We got a hobby and a jumbo and all the silvers. Home run challenge. Freddy. Does the quality look gradable? Yeah. But, I mean, we're pretty much talking quality of the parallels. Series 1, in general, you don't really grade base cards unless you don't value your time as much as others. I don't know. Brandon, what's happening? Any SSPs? We did get a golden mirror, Jacob. I don't think they have a date for that yet, Matthew. You just bought a bunch of retail at Walmart. Hangers were pretty loaded with parallels. Lots of inserts. Got fat packs and hangers, no blasters. Well, blast, yeah, blasters have the, I think blasters are gonna be pretty sick. They're gonna be loaded with parallels, holiday ones and others. It's a special card, Michael, and I, I think they're numbered. It's not just a, it's something special. Feel like you hit all the rookies from a single jumbo. I haven't been paying. I haven't been going through all the base, Brandon. But I opened one box for my PC, and I didn't. I don't think I got a Dominguez. I think I had like a pack that had doubles. I had a weird box. Magas are good, Michael. Megas are the best dollar. They're the best chase dollar per parallel. That card's flipped around. We might as well look at it. It's a rainbow foil Kirloff. Uh, I'm running out of room. Goldschmidt. Kind of like this song. Have a good vibe. I'm going to download it.
Royce Lewis. Jason Dominguez. Ken Griffey Jr. Look at that hair. Woo! Willie Mays. Gold coming up. So we got Luis Matos. Then a gold Ryan Mountcastle. Frank Thomas. Home run challenge Bryce. Royal Blues, eh, Don? Tyler Wells, Rainbow. Auto. Nice auto. Heston Kirstead, red. 7 of 25. Nathan. That's a nice hit, especially out of a hobby box. Kind of feels like we're getting... Good 4 out of 12, a third of our box had autos in it in that first break, right? It just feels like hobbies are, there's more autos coming out of hobbies than normal too. I don't know if that's 100%, but it feels that way. Here we go. Well, I gotta open up another pack of sleeves. That's a sweet card to 199. The Reds. It's a, it's a deeper red this year. More of a... Almost more of like a crimson... Orangey red. I don't know. Slightly different color. Last box is a jumbo, and we got the two silvers coming out of here. Then we'll save all these silvers for after this box. Silver Palooza. To 20, oh, the, which one? Ramirez? 199. Does jumbo have the possibility of containing one or one all do as far as i know like even retail you can get a one on one blood orange there you go kd yeah yastremski rainbow ken griffey jr My boy, Brandon Crawford. Piece of his bat. Brandon Rogers gold foil. Jason Dominguez. Seventy-five point top loader for Major League Material. Oh, 
Oh, you hit the 101 CFP. Senzel, Griffey, Gwyn, Thomas. Mother's Day. In your DS. Mother's Day has a deeper pink look. 43 out of 50. It's a it's a deeper pink. Almost it's definitely not like a fluorescent pink like we're used to. Feels muddied a bit. Not bright pink. All the colors are a little little different this year. Just very slightly, like a, a common man wouldn't notice. Yuri Perez, Future Stars, all the good stuff. Yeah, we got a no a no border today. Farmer's load wasn't impressed. I didn't really like it actually. That's a nice hit. Henry Davis gold. Color match kind of with the gold. 1654 of 2024. There's lots of like secondary type rookies. I made the, the list like the S tier, A tier, B tier. And I found myself wanting to put more guys up in the A tier, like the like all the B tier guys. There's there's very little separation between A and B tier. And there's like 10 to 15 guys that are in that tier that could like do something and be very relevant. Half a box to go. Celebration of the kid. Devers Rainbow. Gunner, yeah, I think Gunner's like in series two, probably, right? Or I don't know what I have I don't think he's in this. They gotta save some people for series two. Another 350 cards. And then update. Another 350 cards, probably. Maybe 330 for update. Owen White. My bad. Sorry, I was trying to roll my sleeve up. I made it the whole stream without smacking my camera. Autograph Jackson Wolf. That guy looks a little long in the tooth. Holds Jackson Wolf. Born in 99. Not as long in the tooth as I thought. Just must be the pick. Seth Lugo, Matos. Home run challenge, Pete.
Okay, time for the silvers. Ready? Clayton's been soaking. Good luck. Infusion is complete. Silver pack Palooza begins. Randy and Don, Yelich and Jazz. Mookie, Superstar Pack, Mookie, Judge, Schmidt, Luciano. So in the first two cases, now these are just half, these are little half cases. But in the first two full cases, we did pretty well on numbered and auto. We got one auto out of our silver packs, but we got multiple numbered cards. So I'm expecting multiple numbered. Jordan Westberg, Mike Trout, Jason Dominguez. And an auto! Smith Shaver. Wow, what a pack. Braves hit for Eric. So two silver pack autos today. And a monster pack. Jeez. I'd love to pull a pack like this. I mean, like every card is at least a sleever, if not better. Let's keep that going. Brian Wu. Yoshida Cup. And uh, Rizzo. All-star game, ASG, kind of does. Sheehan, Bryant, Andrew Abbott, Rookie Cup, and Barry Larkin. Christopher Morrell, Pete Crow rookie, Nolan Ryan, and Clayton Claus. Jordan, Lou Bob, Colton Kowser, and Jordan Lawler. Another nice pack. A couple sleevers. Jordan Lawler is probably a top load card, but he hasn't really done anything yet. But rookie. Lindor, Butler, Gwen, and Harrison. Rafaela. It's a good rookie. Kirstad. Potential. Cunha. MVP. And Bobby. Superstar. Another good pack. I mean, the checklist is awesome on these, so most of the packs are going to ha have something. At the very least, you're going to get, a, like, a couple Hall of Famers, probably. Chipper and Bagwell, Soderstrom, Machado. I think this one's got something in it. I think we got a parallel coming out of here. Maybe. Maybe not. Evan Carter, nice. And Marte. Nope, just two good rookies. Two notable rookies. Good A tier, if not S tier. And the last one. We gotta get a parallel. Yeah, they're saving them for series two, a lot of them. AZ. 
we got a parallel. Julio and the parallels Devers. Green Devers. All right, let's look at the hits, shall we? What came from a split case? The rest of these two cases we'll be doing on Friday. So the remaining of both of those cases. Another 50-50 mixer. Hobby and Jumbo. And then I'm going to do some other mixers. Probably done just doing straight up Series 1. So we can mix some higher end stuff in here. Get some on-card autos. Monster hits. Get a little bit of 2023 stuff in. Expand the checklists that we're chasing. I'm just going to go through and show them all off. Ready? Evaldi. That is an orange one to 299. Got a Westberg gold. Dansby game use bat. Brandon Crawford game use bat. Heston Kierstad on card rookie auto number to 25. Michael Harris. And that is a black parallel numbered to 199. Bow manufactured. So we only got two manufactured relics. Jordan Westberg and Bo. Both of them numbered to 299. Bregman, game used. Diaz, Mother's Day, 43 of 50. Jose Altuve, game used bat. Jose Ramirez, red to 199. Got a Henry Davis rookie gold. Zach Giloff, gold. Sheehan, black on card to 199. Soderstrom, team logo, border. Devers to 99. Lawler, mojo. Dominguez, mojo. Correa, game use bat. Goldschmidt, game use bat. Green Bobby to $4.99. Mount Castle, game use bat. Curtis Mead, on card rookie auto. Grand Gamers, black parallel. Derek Jeter to $2.99. Tristan McKenzie, black parallel to $1.99. Yuri Perez, future stars green to $4.99. Williams to $4.99. Smith Shaver, Silver Pack Auto to 149. Jackson Wolf, on card auto. And Adley Rutschman, number to 299. Fun times. Series one release day, 2024 baseball season. It's right around the corner. Everything's starting up. We got teams reporting, spring training. And the releases are going to keep flowing from here. Exciting rookie class. Series 2 is going to be good as well. I mean, what, what more could we ask for? Good times. And tomorrow, going to be doing a personal case break. Probably do it live. Clear your schedule. It's going to be a blast.